Okay. Welcome back, everybody, to Retrograde Wear Plays Sonic Before the Sequel Plus. Okay, okay. So, I took a break. Ah. Oh, I just listened to the playback on Twitch. I'm actually not even worried anymore because I can load game. <laughs> I'm glad, very glad that load that save works on this. If there was anything that I could have in the Sega Genesis Mega Collection, I would like to have this, like, playable with Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles, and Mania. Plus. Like, all of it. At the same time. In one space. So, I had a point last episode about how fan games and fan works really have just been killing it you guys have been killing it absolutely i am so proud of so many pixel artists and fan gamers shout outs to crispy pixels shout outs to pyro kids soda shout outs to um, my friend jabs shout outs to crescendo shout outs to my boy zero beat for making his own game in general. Um, I'm just so happy to see so many creative people giving it their all. But my point last time was I don't hate Sega, but or Sonic Team. I, they just make some weird decisions at times, like saying Team Dark isn't a canonical thing. Even though there's an entire game and more games that suggest that Team Dark is very much a thing. But I get I get it. From Sega's point of view, they don't want to have to adhere to this idea that Shadow Rouge and Omega will always be, like, close. Like, Knuckles, Sonic, Amy, Cream. Did I say Tails? I, I, I feel like Tails should go without saying. There's a whole dang movie with him being included today that you should probably go watch if you're watching this on the, on today's day of days. And no, that's not an Easter joke, although it is also close to Easter. So maybe it is an Easter joke. <laughs> Man, that sucks. Dang it. I'm supposed to touch the red into the green. Then do this. Then I have, like, what? A bunch of speed? Ahem. <clears throat> Flemmy. Ahem. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. So my major point is, projects like uh, this do not, I don't want them to take anything away from Sega. I want Sega to still feel like they can do what they do, and then the fans will say, well, I think what you guys did was so good, we should keep doing that. Or, this thing doesn't make sense in this thing. But I like the idea, what you guys were doing with it, so we're gonna put it in this other game. 
or we're gonna put it in my game. My version. And that's who I am. And that, like, when, when I, all this work. Making interesting enemies and whatnot, like. gives you such a cool feeling like these are really good ideas <laughs> magnetism a new type of magnetism right right exactly Interesting ideas and conventions of traversing a level, and not even just traversing a level, having fun while doing it, like a like a Sonic game should feel. Sonic games, good Sonic games feel fun. That's why they're Sonic games. Don't let Aaron Hansen tell you otherwise. I don't remember what I did last time. See, that's the thing about the drop dash. It's more reliable than the spin dash because you're always jumping to place. Being able to have a hold of charge is really interesting. But I, but I think the the Mega Mix um, homing attack is a good move. It's a good move. It would only be it would be super overpowered in this game though. Which is why I'm sure a lot of people don't include the move in all games, all mods. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make a mod sooner or later. So stay, so whenever you see me say that. Oh, and you should play Pointy Sonic. Po play Pointy Sonic. If Crispy watches this, he knows I'm at least like, hey, hey. At least, he, at least my boy is doing me good. Sorry, uh, phrasing. Yo, what the? Why am I getting so much hot? Ah! Truly a platforming Sega game. I forgot what I did. Yeah, you basically gotta get up here, then get back down. So that, right, so that the wind carries you. That's... That's the mechanic. Right. I like the whole these wool these are floors that are pat these are floors or walls that are pass throughable from below. But once you're on top of them, you can't go below them anymore. It's very ingenious.
Like, such inventive ways to create... Ah! Only need one. Sure. Nice. I like the shield in this game, too. It's a really cool-looking shield. I don't even know why I introduced this as a new episode or anything. I'm probably just going to attach this to the previous playthrough. Just make it one big upload. Save myself the trouble. Oh, there must be a trigger for that door. I gotta find it. Ah! Thin ozone zone. Power up noise. Legretto beat. Aw, oh, that was it! That was the switch. Hop, hop, hop. Hop. Careful not to take damage you don't need to take. Oh, are those... Are those things, like, recharging me so that I don't lose my charge? Up. Oh. Yep. I am crazy. Choosing it wrong. I'm running out of time. Either bad, either the badniks kill me or the timer does. Uh, see, I was supposed to hop onto the thing from there. I'm just trying to figure out the mechanic fully so I can understand it. Bear with me. Right, right.
right? Ah, see, and you can keep your charge so long as you do the right thing and not the wrong thing. Right. Dang it. Okay, I think now I, I know what I, I gotta do. It's like you've been saying that. But I have yet to see you do it. It's like you're right. You're right to doubt me. I am but man. See, that's why Drop Dash is... Drop Dash is faster than it's figure 8. Although in this game, it's mechanically inferior to figure 8 in terms of speed. Its entire reasoning is being able to uh, move quickly. Right. Right. Yes. I am doing the thing. Right. Nice little puzzle before the act was over. Dees. Dees puzz. Arcane Altazoo Zone. Huh? Ah. So Tails is joining in on the adventure to trash Eggman's plans in place. Wait, why does he have a little thingamabob when he flies now? He's like really giving it his all now. Ah. How are they, how's that bunny gonna get out of here? <laughs> how's that flicky gonna get out of here? You know what, I'm out of here. This <laughs> is Azure Altitude Zone. Tails definitely got the better song out of this dual act.
Need at least one. Right? This game is so sick. So I'm going higher. Why is Tail so determined? <laughs> well, he's sure of himself now. Or at least he's a little bit more outgoing than he was before. Gives him a boost in speed and flight. Oh. Wow. You can only go up. Glad you can fly out of that, Tails. Ah. So I guess Tails is on one side, Sonic's on the other, and they're basically tearing this place apart. Death Egg Zone. Like the real deal now? Yeah, basically. I really could have used that life, to be honest, but... Oh, he starts to fly now. Like, his AI just keeps getting better with time. Oh, is that not? Oh, okay. The 
intricacy is beautiful. Ah, oh, come on, man. Come on, cuz. Like... Whoa. Sis. <laughs> Tails. Move. <laughs> Tails? Tails! Whoa! What? Let's go! serious right now? Haha! -ha. This is really happening during the Death Egg's launch into space? Yo, how dare you disappear just in the nick of time, you jerkwad! Hmm. Oh! <laughs> Wait! He used a giant- Oh, I thought it was like a giant spring he used. Wow, I love how... I love how, um, whoa. It's just... The, the, the death egg is coming apart. During the fight, <laughs> it's initiating its stages of trajectory while the fight is happening. Why is this game so cool? Load that. I wonder where we start from. Uh, yeah. That's fair. I mean, like, that's... I mean, like, that's where out we all... You always start before the end of the game, right? Ah! Dang it. I'm on that life. Wait. I wonder if we can get that other life again. Ah. 
Nice. This song is so good because it's a really good remix of the Death Egg Zone in Sonic 2, but it has way more personality. It's very dis uh, disconcerting, disconcerted. Its harmony is completely just like out there. I guess we honestly just have to come to this little victory pose where Miles lands right in front of us. I want to try and do a, something better. We can see both of us. All three of us. Now he literally blew that boy away. So what are you gonna do about it, punk? Oh, you, oh, you're about to see what I'm about to do about it. You're a bad man, Mr. Eggman. Mm. Ah, you jerk. I gotta stop taking that first hit. You're just biding time, Eggman. We both know the writing's on the wall for you. Oh, you hang that on a purpose? Oh, you Arr. Nah, not again. Oh. Oh, you Why do I jump right into that beam? Can I get a ring, please? Yes! Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Yo! Ooh. 
Why is this song amazing? Got you, you punk! Oh, he found the last emerald. Okay, that makes sense. What? Okay. Ah, oh, he's shielded. Okay, okay. Whoa! Yo! We're gonna crack you, Eggman. Now we'll show you. Why doesn't it say supersonic? I know, I shouldn't be mean like that. My plane! Low fuel. And that is Sonic 1.5, a.k.a. Sonic Before the Sequel. Oh, 
wow, there is just a very clear love here. Oh crap. My precious controller. No. Sorry, the, the music on this game is just top notch choice. Cloudy Crowd Zone. Arcane Altitude Zone. Ten years later, wow. Starlight Zone, Aquatic Ruin Zone, Green Grove, Star Shores, Falk, Rocky Ride, Falk, Guitar Solo by Lost Levels, High Star, Falk, Sun. Yeah, Falk was, seems to, Falk and Funk. I'm gonna have to get into some of this Falk. I mean, I've heard of it, and I'm pretty sure I must love it. Such high energy. Ah, oh, man. Lake Park, you really outdid yourself. SFG, HQ, everyone who helped. Sage 2021. Soundtrack 2011 version, Helltop Heights. Act 1 Sonic CD Remix. Sonic Jam. Dragon Ball Game. Boss Act. Kirby Streamline 3. Star Shores. Ugh, keep, I keep, it keeps beginning and not stopping, but, I mean, starts beginning and then ending. But doesn't finish in a way that feels satisfying, but all this music has to be enjoyed. People put countless time and hours behind this. I wanted to do Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and Knuckles today, but I guess I'll have to do that tomorrow. Plus, although there's not much to edit this and upload it. I just want to see what happens at the end of this plus, like if something different happens. Like for all I know, Knuckles could be in the game. Time points, negative 1,252. Oh, well, I guess that's it. I guess that's, I guess that's uh, my score. <laughs> Yo, this is the world map, huh? Everywhere we went to get to the Death Egg. And we got to that, to a lot of those ends and acts in like one minute. And still, oh, you know what the time point, the point, you know what the points are for because I didn't beat it all the way through myself. I didn't, I didn't, 
I didn't have a clean run. But that's okay. We did it. Another one in the books. Thanks so much for joining us here at Retrograde Wear. Like, favorite, share, comment, and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. If you want to come to Twitch, come on over to Twitch. Links will be in the description below to come to Twitch. And yeah, thanks. Um, probably be back here again with some Sonic the Hedgehog 2 stuff. And there's some other Sonic the Hedgehog goodies that I could probably throw in that video as well. But we'll see what we do with, the, with our tomorrows. But today, I'd say we've done pretty good work. All right. Catch you later, guys.